If you're looking for some great venison marinade recipes, I'm going to show you my four family favorites today. It'll take your wild game cooking from wow to wow. guys, I'm Junie the Orange Huntress and welcome or welcome back to my channel where we bring the hunt home and the wild inside. I'm going to show you my four family favorite marinade recipes today. Everything from kebabs to stir fry to quesadillas and steaks. The cool thing too about marinades is they really enhance the flavor of whatever you're working with as well as tenderize any tough cuts of meat. Just so you know, you can mix these marinades up into whatever recipes you want. So if you wanted to do the kebab marinade on a steak, go for it. I really am so pumped to share these recipes with you. Let's get cooking. First up is my kebab marinade. These are gonna go on my barbecue. So anytime that anything goes on your barbecue, you wanna make sure that there's oil in the recipe. If there's no olive oil or canola oil, then you really need to add at least two tablespoons to account for being on a grill. By cutting my pieces smaller, I am able to marinate faster and more efficiently instead of marinating a whole roast all at once. You should marinate your meat for at least an hour and you can do larger cuts of meat for up to 24 hours. If you want to see this video in its entirety, you can click the link down below in the description. Up next, the steak marinade. This recipe is actually kind of spicy, so if you're not a fan of spice, then either cut out the red pepper flakes and the dried mustard, or just cut back on them. I would still recommend using a mustard of some kind, maybe like a grainy mustard or something like that instead. And actually these are elk steaks. We just didn't have any venison cut up for this, but they are very similar in flavor and it is still an amazing marinade. Stir fry. This was one of my first recipes on my channel and we still love it. If you were to use this marinade any other time, I would definitely recommend to not use cornstarch because it really does work as a great thickener. However, if you're cooking this marinade on the grill, it could get a little bit gummy. If you find that the marinade gets a little thick in the pan, just add about half a cup of water and it'll thin itself out. And last but not least, my venison quesadilla marinade. Oh my word, it is so good. When you combine it with the cheese and the tortilla, it is just out of this world. Funny story behind this marinade. I had actually cooked a roast from Frozen in my Instant Pot, but it was not ready at all. So I cut it up into strips and then popped this sauce in with it. And man, it was game changer. That was like the saving grace to making that recipe phenomenal. The biggest tip for this marinade is if you're not going to add cornstarch and water at the end to thicken up the sauce, you're going to need to pull out your veggies and your meat and then reduce it down so it's a little bit thicker. This can take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, but it is so saucy and so good. Thanks guys for watching today. I hope these recipes give you some really great ideas. Catch you next Wednesday.